So let's get into some of these products that we have. Sure. So we're covered, like things are covered in plastic. So we do the best we can to find things that are less, have less plastic. Mm -hmm. What's the first one you got? Well, I'm going to start, I think, with my number one pet peeve. <laughs> and that is the plastic produce bags at the grocery store. Oh. Can't stand those. <laughs> so Drew and I have, um, cloth bags like this for our produce that we take and reuse each time we go to the grocery store. Sometimes we don't always remember our produce cloth bags, in which case we would just opt not to use the plastic bag. Yeah, there's no reason to use them, only because we always have used them. Mm -hmm. You know, but now that we're more conscious of the planet and what plastic does, we can avoid plastic by not using the bags or using something like I this. I don't even know the purpose of them. Like why we started using them in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we got a lot of items here, so we'll have to move quick, quick, quickly here. This one here is a deodorant stick. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I use now. For natural deodorants, everyone has to find something that works for them. This one in particular does work for me. And it's, as you can see, it's just a crystal. There's no plastic, which is why I avoid conventional types of deodorants because they're usually wrapped in plastic. Mm -hmm. So here's an option for you to give it a try that might work for you. Yes, that's right. Uh, going back to the grocery store, um, shopping bags, gro plastic shopping bags. Mm. <laughs> I think there's so many oh more gosh. options than the, so, I, I don't even know why we're still allowed to use them, like to be so, honest. Well, they're outlawed in some places, like mm -hmm. a lot of places in the beaches, like in California, they're outlawed. I heard India outlawed them. Really? Yeah. So, so come on, Canada. Yeah, what are, like, <laughs> what are we doing? And I, sometimes you see someone that, that is in the grocery store and they have like 40 bags of groceries <laughs> and it's all in plastic and I'm like, ah! He's losing his mind. <laughs> What are you doing with all those bags? <laughs> and it doesn't take a much effort to bring your own bag. Right. So bring your own grocery bag. Glass jars for me is a big one. Mm -hmm. I use glass jars for drinking water and around the house. So everyone's like, why do you use glass jars? So, okay, so I mean, that's the reason why I don't like plastic, even plastic water bottles that are nice to reuse, for example, that last a couple years. Eventually they're going to a landfill mm -hmm. and probably an ocean. So mm -hmm. for me, Glass jars are an easy choice. Mm -hmm. A new one for me is um, a shampoo bar as opposed to a shampoo bottle. Now this struck me, I because there's all kinds of different videos that go on, you know, on social media about plastic in the ocean. And there's this one that happened to pop up, and it was a sham, like a fish swimming around in plastic. And one of the images was of a shampoo bottle, and I'm like, ah. What can I do to get rid of my shampoo bottles? And this is the solution I found was a shampoo bar. Yeah. So super excited to try this out. I um, did a little research and I asked around and uh, good reviews on it. So I'm excited to try that one out. And then these, just a side note, these bars, you can buy these bars as body wash or like as body wash, right? Yeah. So you can use, instead of getting body wash in plastic bottles, you can get a, a container like this which mm -hmm. actually has no container. <laughs> <laughs> a bar as opposed to a body wash plastic container. Right. Mm -hmm. And toothbrushes are pretty cool. They're coming out with more and more different types of toothbrushes that are bamboo or non-plastic. This one is the company is called Humble Brush and it's uh, the Humble Company company. They're sorry, the Humble CEO. So anyways, it's made from bamboo and it's uh, you know, just think about how many plastic toothbrushes you go through in your household or you go through in your own home mm -hmm. each year because we should be changing our toothbrushes every few months. We should be. And uh, Some people have to remind other people to change their <laughs> toothbrush. <laughs> so by those toothbrushes, again, are going in landfills, they're going in oceans. So if you get something that's more natural, then we can avoid that. Mm -hmm. uh, saran wrap is another one um, in the kitchen that... Um, doesn't need to be doesn't used. need to be used and ziploc bags too like ha ha <laughs> <laughs> so drew and i use these reusable this is our smallest size they're big ones and medium ones as well but these are um reusable wraps so you can wrap uh, I don't know, cut up an apple, wrap it up. You can put it over a bowl in the in the fridge so that you don't have to use saran wrap or plastic wrap. And it keeps things very fresh. It's lined with um, beeswax, so it seals nice and tight. 
to a bowl or whatever you're using. So ditch the plastic wrap, get yourself some of these what reusable company is ones. That? Oh, I don't remember, but there's a ton around. It says right here. Oh. Just can't pronounce it. Abigo. Abigo. Abigo is that company that we use right now, but there's other companies there's as well. There's tons I think there's around. some local companies as well if, if you're local to these yeah. videos. And you just wash them. Then you wash them, you dry them, they're good to go again. Okay, my turn. This one is from Tanglewood, and that's a local company as well. And this is for laundry detergent, and it's super cool. Like it comes with this um, metal spoon, and it's a glass mm -hmm. container. You can bring these containers back to the store, and they give you a couple bucks. Mm -hmm. And the lid is not plastic either. So yeah. very cool. It works really well in it's a laundry detergent. Yeah, and just think about how many big jugs of laundry plastic laundry detergents are used and put into landfills. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the last one we have? The last one we have is uh, new to our home as well. Um, and it's a dryer bowl. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it, you just throw these in. I like to put a couple of essential oil drops on the, on the dryer bowl, throw it in the dryer, as opposed to those highly toxic, environmentally unsafe dryer, dryer sheets. <laughs> Stop yeah. using those Stop too. using those. <laughs> They're not good for you. <laughs> or the environment. Ha, ha, ha.